Also, only 62 of the 1,218 threads that I counted were started by people other than Eric Gajewski. That's 95% of the threads that were started by Eric. Look at all the zeros in the reply column. I notice that Eric is almost always the last to comment in each thread. There are clearly fake threads being started as well. This person started 12 threads, many of them advertising how to earn money as a click farmer. This thread even advertises the sale of fake Facebook likes. One section has two people advertising the same website, while another person advertises a website on how to increase testosterone. Eric also boasted about his fake popularity on another forum, not owned by him. In this forum, he criticized them for having only 2,700 followers. That's actually 22 times more than what he had before he bought his 1,000 new fake followers. He even boasted, quote, Tradcat Knight literally had 2,700 followers after the first hour, 10,000 after the first day, end quote. Obviously, he got those, quote, followers because he bought them. He says, quote, Anyone with only a couple thousand people following are not to be taken seriously, end quote. Eric only has 1,183 on his forum, and almost all of them are bought, so he's condemned out of his own mouth. He then continues to berate and criticize others, based entirely on his artificially inflated figures, which he knows are fake. He also challenges people to call him, insulting them by saying they are fruitcake, chicken, a little girl, cowardly little boys, can't take the heat, and says he would slap them around like a little girl. Eric sounds like a raging demon rather than a follower of Jesus Christ. A prime characteristic of Eric Gajewski is that he constantly asks for donations on his blog, his Facebook page, Tumblr page, Twitter account, forum and YouTube accounts, he makes it a priority to ask for donations. Notice that the donation button on his blog is directly above the website views counter. Eric is probably laughing to himself that a lot of the money he gets from donations goes straight back into the fake number of website views he buys from SEO Cloak. Eric has a pinned tweet at the top of his tweets asking for a donation. He also tweets a request for a donation almost every day, along with the lie that he is the most viewed traditional Catholic page worldwide. He also has a pinned post at the top of his Facebook page, which asks for donations. Notice the absurd line that he made up to ask for money, quote, We go and grow as your charity flows, end quote. Eric probably thinks it is a stroke of genius that this slogan sums up his method of funneling donation money into fake followers and views. Another source of revenue Eric has dreamed up is selling t-shirts for $30. He has 10 t-shirt designs, one sweater, and three bumper stickers. These are all merely methods of fundraising that contribute to artificially inflating his popularity. Notice his emphasis on a quote order of the eagle. More on that soon. Eric might be likened to a policeman who shoots those who call for help, or a fireman who lights fires instead of putting them out. Eric does not have the Catholic faith, though he pretends to. He does not have the biggest website, though he pretends to. And he is paying people to lie hundreds of thousands of times, though he would almost certainly deny it. However, that's not all. Eric is trying to build himself up as a cult figure. He almost certainly believes that he is the great Catholic monarch. To my knowledge, he has never denied it. Eric has the name Tradcat Knight in this picture on his blog, which links to this page about the monarch. He has invented his own fake order called the quote, Order of the Eagle. His WordPress page is dedicated to this. However, consider that Eric builds himself up to be a heroic figure, yet there is not one picture of himself online in connection with the Tradcat Knight name. One would think that he would want his quote, Eagles to at least know what their leader looks like. Eric is constantly inviting people to join a quote, new crusade, and he uses a crusader's picture all over the place. He even says to invite your family and friends, as if he were inviting them to a picnic. Eric's crusade is another fake. It actually defrauds and deceives people, and leads them to hell. Eric is also militant in his delusions. He says a new quote, Catholic military order is coming. Eric claims in this next clip that he will quote, give the commands one day. So I'm making this very clear right now behalf of our Lord. What our Lord has me to do, okay, and I'm saying this in all humility, in all charity, okay, eventually what he will have me to do is to give the commands. I don't take the commands. I don't take the orders. I'm giving them. And at a certain point, people will understand that authority that has been given. People might not see it now. He calls his followers, quote, eagles. 
you know, if we're, we don't have the intent of perfection, again, that's the one of the, the foundations of being an eagle. You know, there'll be many people who say, well, I want to be an eagle because I want to, you know, fight Islam. And this. No, 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 no. In this next clip, Eric says that as a, quote, eagle, people will have to give up their body. He wants people to be willing to die for his cause. You love your body too much. You love your health too much. You know, as a Catholic, you, you know, and more specifically as an eagle, you have to be willing to give up your body for our Lord. In this next clip, he claims he will be announcing a, quote, restoration to the world. Whereas Catholics, we are counter-revolutionaries. We're, we're not revolutionaries. We, we truly should be monarchists uh, and working towards uh, that great day of restoration, uh, of which I will publicly announce the world. Next, he refers to the, quote, businessman in himself. What's next on the assignment? Much like a soldier would look down at his assignments for the day. I need to do this, 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 and this. And perhaps this is a little bit of the businessman in me, but I'm very goal-orientated uh, for the day. You know, I, I have things I need to do, and I go right down a list, check them off. Bang, 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 bang. Okay? Kajewski's ramblings show that he is a deluded and possessed tool of Satan. His soul is morally, doctrinally, and spiritually bankrupt. And through his pride and sin, he is enslaved to the devil. For Eric Gajewski, it's about the glory of himself rather than of God. Eric Gajewski was exposed in the excellent video made by Brother Peter Diamond of Most Holy Family Monastery, the truth about the SSPX, the SSPX MC, and similar groups. Another example of the demonic effects of such a false position is found in the absurd utterances of a supporter of the SSPX MC group. In a YouTube video, this individual articulated a position that's very close to that of the SSPX MC. In other words, he rejects the true position that the chair of St. Peter is vacant and stubbornly holds instead that the post-Vatican II claimants are valid popes. Yet, he simultaneously declares that his, quote, popes are not Catholic, that their, quote, church is not Catholic, that his, quote, popes are separated from the Catholic Church yet still lead it, that they have the power of the magisterium but people must not follow their magisterial teaching, that they and their, quote, bishops have jurisdiction and that Sedevacantists are supposedly wrong, for holding that they don't have any jurisdiction, yet one must not commune with those, quote, popes or bishops who, according to him, have jurisdiction. It's just totally schismatic and heretical theological trash. He stated, Okay, so it's not possible at this point to be following all these errors and heresies. We can't follow the current magisterium as is, right, when we're talking about the authentic, because that is where all these errors and, and heresies are. He also stated, yeah, we hold and maintain these popes not to be Catholics. We hold them to maintain that they are teaching heresies. He also stated, Archbishop Lefebvre speaks, because the conciliar church is not the Catholic church, objectively speaking. Everyone follow that? The Catholic church now resides in a remnant, objectively speaking, which is outside that mainstream. They have separated themselves from the church. They are modernists. They are not Catholics. He also stated, so really, the, the arguments between hardline traditionalists and state of a is, is the sense of jurisdiction. You know, we recognize that they still have jurisdiction against the heirs of state of a He also stated, Those individuals who are attending the Vatican II new churches, they're not Catholics. They're modernists. Uh, so here's another demonstration of, of people you need to avoid. If you want to lose your soul, go ahead and start communing with the, the Pittsburgh Diocese, because assuredly, uh, you will definitely lose the faith and or, if you have not already, quite potentially lose your soul. Such diabolical nonsense mocks and denies Catholic teaching in many ways. It rejects Catholic dogma on the unity of faith in the Church, on the unity of communion in the Church, on the infallibility of the magisterium, on the Church's immunity from error, etc. It's textbook schism, for he says that people must not commune with the bishop and the quote pope, he simultaneously says have jurisdiction and authority. That position, of course, also rejects the dogma that where Peter is, there is the true church, as it holds that where Peter is, there is a false and non-Catholic church, which one must reject and be separate from. Someone who obstinately adheres to such a position, as the aforementioned individual does, is certainly not a Catholic, but definitely a heretic and a schismatic with no faith in Catholic teaching at all. Eric Kajewski is a spiritual fraud. He claims to reject the mainstream SSPX and those who attend their masses, yet he praises Nicholas Gruner, 
who is more compromised and modernist than the SSPX itself. He also accepts the invalid new quote right of ordination, but he rejects the quote canonizations of the Vatican to anti-popes. This is absurd, for if the new right is valid, then so are the quote canonizations by the anti-popes, because both the quote ordinations and the quote canonizations are derived from the same authority, the Vatican II sect. Eric believes that it is heresy to reject quote baptism of desire. Like all baptism of desire heretics, he rejects the mountain of magisterial teaching, proving the absolute necessity of the sacrament of baptism for salvation. He also believes in the heresy of quote invincible ignorance. He says that someone can be saved if he has the Catholic faith in a quote hidden and unknown way. This is absurd heresy. No one can have the Catholic faith in a hidden and unknown way. To have the Catholic faith, one must also profess the Catholic faith in the external forum. He says that we cannot be positive that Luther and all the rest of the enemies of mankind are in hell. This is also absurd heresy. The Council of Florence declared that all those who die outside the Catholic Church go to hell. Eric Kajewski is a disgraceful apostate. See the video, The Best Argument Against Quote Baptism of Desire, and the book, Outside the Catholic Church There is Absolutely No Salvation. To financially support Eric Gajewski is obviously a mortal sin. He should be totally shunned and avoided. There is absolutely no justification for him lying to, deceiving and defrauding others, as well as building himself up as a cult figure by putting himself in the place of God. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be humbled, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Matthew 23 verse 12 For what shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and suffer the loss of his soul? Mark 8 verse 36. Sadly, Eric Gajewski is a false Christ, a false prophet, a false shepherd, and a schismatic and a heretic. He treats souls as if they are a business commodity, rather than immortal and made in the image of God. For the best information on the traditional Catholic faith, and how modern Rome has lost the Catholic faith, please go to vaticancatholic.com.